became a millionaire in just a couple of months. You know what he sold? He sold his eyes. He came up with an idea about a pet rock. And, and it even came in a little candy case with holes punched in it. You know, like if you had a real life animal in there. And it had a little bed of, of like a frog that was left on. And it even came with a 36 page instruction manual on how to train your pet rock. He made millions.
God's commandment. And that's why the living stone is different. Because Jesus' blood is flawless and perfect and without defect, he was able to offer that to God the Father to pay for your sin, to free you from death and the grave, and to make you alive again. That's why Jesus, the living stone, is more precious than all of the minerals in the world. But notice that Peter does not call him the dead stone, because yes, Jesus died on the cross, but he, his lifeless, full body came out of that stone to him. He lives today, your living stone. But then Peter also said, you are the
and saying, well, Pastor, we didn't, we haven't gone to Martin Luther College in New Orleans, Minnesota yet. We don't have our, our basketball, our bar slips, our emphasis in some of the languages. We haven't graduated from Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary in Mequon, Wisconsin. We don't have our, our Masters of Divinity. We haven't been ordained.